If you're not making your own granola at home, you're going to have no excuses not to make it after I show you this recipe. It's one, two, three, four, five ingredients, and it couldn't be more delicious. It's pecan granola with wildflower honey and oats. Base of most granolas, oats, I guess. I guess you could do it with other rolled things, like rolled barley, like if you could find instant barley, but why would you? I mean, why mess with a good thing? Okay, so I'm starting off with one and a half cups of pecans. They don't need to be toasted because this is all going to go into the oven. You could replace the pecans with any nut you want. Just basically know that you can replace anything in this with anything that you want. <laughs> so the pecans could be walnuts or almonds or pistachios or a combination, whatever you like here. This is three cups of rolled oats. Don't replace those with anything because I couldn't think of any great things to replace it with. Don't use the quick cooking stuff, just the regular. Granola needs some fat. This one doesn't have a ton, ton of fat, but it's got three tablespoons of melted unsalted butter, which could also be olive oil. We love olive oil in our granola here. The wildflower honey that we spoke about so recently, here it is, one third of a cup. I've seen people use agave. Maple syrup is fantastic. If you want a more intense flavor, use a darker honey. But I think this nice neutral honey is great. And then a half a teaspoon, of course, salt. That's it, you guys. Have your oven preheating to 300 degrees. Stir all of your ingredients together. The fat's important for golden brownifying. I know that's not a word, I know. And the sugar, or the honey, really, in this case, helps with the color as well. Obviously helps with flavor, and it also holds it together a little bit. So it's the sugar combined with the fat that makes the clumps in granola. If you're not watching your fat, you could up the fat just a little bit in this recipe. We're always sort of keeping the fat on the low end here. Spread it out on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Your oven's at 300 degrees. This should take about 30 minutes. You can stir it once and rotate the pan so it cooks evenly. It's done. What do you think about that? I think fantastic. You hear that? It's crunchy, it's light, it isn't too sweet. At this stage, if you wanted to, you could add some golden raisins or dried cherries, one of my favorites. Any kind of dried fruit that you want can go in here. You could embellish earlier with like nuts and seeds and blah, 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 and go crazy. But I think this is a really fantastic base to start with. I, for one, can't stop eating it.